her new camper van. For the next two weeks. For the next two weeks. <laughs> We're testing out a bigger camper van because ours is way too small for a family of three. I am so excited to show you guys inside because this van has so many really cool features. As you come in, you have the seating area, which is pretty spacious. You have two swivels from the captain seats at the front. I've already made myself at home and you can see all my, all my crumbs already. <laughs> Evidence of snacks on the road. So we just put the pillow there. <laughs> you obviously have these seats here and you have one of these swivel tables, which we'll show you a bit later. Um, so you actually have a place to sit and eat your dinner. And then you come through to the back here, which you have then the kitchen after the seating area. Each so... camper van comes with its own baby. <laughs> we actually opted to keep our own baby. Yeah, we highly recommend going for the baby option. The thing that strikes me the most is that I can move around, which is so, so nice. Our tiny little T4 has a pop top, which is great when you're parked up and that's all up. But this, you don't have to do anything. You just park up and it's ready. It's got everything you'd expect from a kitchen. So you've got the hub, you've got plenty of storage space here. You've got a refrigerator. Yeah. And you've got a sink for washing up. This is all your sort of technical bits up here. So it's like your water pump, your heating. And then at the back is where Noah is gonna be sleeping tonight. So it's got this really handy thing back here. So at night you can transform it either into a, a double bed or this goes up and hooks to make a crib. What's really cool about this van is it's built with families in mind. It's also actually an accessible friendly van and you can have the option if you want to have bunk beds. If yeah. you had two kids there would be a bunk bed here but they've taken it out so we can just keep Noah in the back. Yes when we booked this van they actually asked what sleeping arrangements we wanted to opt for so if you have more kids you can have the, the high up bunk here just above this one and you have the two you can either have a, a double bed at the bottom and a single you can I <laughs> You can either have <laughs> You can either have the single bed on top and a single bed below or the single and the double. Now you may be wondering, if Noah's gonna be sleeping in this bed, where on earth are we gonna sleep? But you'll have to wait until later to see that. But I assure you, it's very cool. I am already in love with this camper van and if it was for sale I would just buy this one and I'm kind of sad because this one's a bespoke one that the guy made and it took him two years so otherwise I also would employ him to do it but he doesn't want to ever touch another camper van conversion in his life completely understand why but we have a really cool campsite and this is in London I didn't realize you could get so much green in London and we have straight outside of our van copious amount of squirrels which keeps me happy but although we are in London today we're just going to get accustomed to the van and enjoy doing nothing and tomorrow then we'll be heading into London to make his little cage which Emma's doing in the back right now and this is the only option we actually have for the bed so if this doesn't work then I mean it's over before it's even started it looks so cool though uh, if I was a kid I'd be well happy with this for my bed this is much better than a crib the aim is to get him in the bed now so we can just sort of let him <laughs> roam free figure out if there's any weak points in the system that we have to <laughs> reinforce before he escapes from the zoo and that'd be much easier to do now than if he does it in the middle of the night when we're sleeping. Okay, now try and get out. I don't think he has the ability to get over. It's just, yeah, I feel like I'm armpit height, we're good. Happy? Yeah. Oh, what's in there? <laughs> <laughs> Ow, like I am so happy right now. We're on like a proper family holiday. This feels like one of the first times in a long time, like everything's going right. Hey. I'm just really happy. Like this is what I wanted. 
and there's, there's no stress. It's like we have a comfy, <laughs> a comfy, warm space with him that he can crawl around in. <laughs> you saying you don't like old mouldy camper vans? <laughs> or ones that sat on fire? Um, apparently not. <laughs> We'd love to take a minute to talk to you about BetterHelp, who is in paid partnership with today's video. A lot of people think that therapy is just for big mental health issues, but actually I think a lot of us could benefit from speaking to an impartial, professional therapist on a regular basis. When I had depression, one of the main things that helped me was speaking to a therapist every week, and it definitely set me on the road to recovery. I haven't been on antidepressants for over five years now, and I definitely could could not have done it without this essential step. And even though I'm no longer struggling with depression, I still find that speaking to somebody on a weekly basis is an essential part of my self-care routine. Let's talk more about BetterHelp, who has helped over 4 million people live happier, healthier lives. Here's how it works. First, you go to their website using our link, which we will, of course, leave in the description down below. Then you just answer a few questions and that's it. BetterHelp goes off with those answers and finds you the ideal therapist who gets what you're going through. And they do it really fast. Usually within 48 hours, you're matched with a therapist. It is really convenient. You get to pick your schedule completely and you get to choose whether you want to speak to your therapist on a face-to-face -face video call or by messaging or by telephone. If this sounds good to you, be sure to head over to betterhelp.com forward slash travel beans or of course use our link down in the description below and you'll get 10% off that first month. Something I always find weird about London is that there are tens of thousands of parakeets and these are not native to London. They originated from Pakistan and northern parts of India and they were exported as exotic pets and they escaped and they've bred and they're everywhere. <laughs> the second I saw them though, I got so excited. I almost felt as happy as ever and started crying. <laughs> oh, parakeets. She has no idea this isn't for the camera. This is just her. I cannot wait to show you guys where Alex and I are sleeping tonight. But first, we have a few little errands to run so we can head out, get some fresh air, and hopefully, a nap. doesn't know I'm filming again. New year, old me. <laughs> so I had a lot of intention this year to be very healthy, cook in the van, save loads of money. And then I've walked past the Caribbean restaurant, never had it before, and I've instantly been swayed. I got myself some jerk chicken and some curry to try and I'm super excited. <laughs> yes, healthy, so excited. Healthy me can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow never comes. <laughs> <laughs> It's really odd seeing foxes in an urban environment because they're just not afraid of people. Being from the countryside, usually when we see a fox, it's running away from us. Yeah. It's really odd. It looked like a proper crack fox. Well. It did. <laughs> a bit scabby. <laughs> I reckon that fox is ready to sell me weed. <laughs> yeah, probably. think we forgot the baby. <laughs> the baby's just outside, <laughs> FYI. They have done such a good job of making everything so practical in this van. 
for example, this cupboard door looks like just your standard cupboard door, but actually it's the table. So I think, yeah, you just lift it off the hinges like that, which is so clever. And then you just slot it on the, um, the base. never had jerk chicken look at that mm. okay i am gonna change because i am gonna get this white top covered in food i can tell i'm not waiting for emma i'm trying this mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that curry is amazing good choice oh and the chicken's even better even better choice God, that's so spicy. <laughs> oh, so now is for the time that I am most excited for, and it's getting the bed ready. I mean, I'm guessing people might have probably worked out when there's no bed. <laughs> But the bed is here. The bed is up here. And first of all, I've got these handy. I really like the way that they've used seat belts in all of this to like make this contraption work. So undone those at the front and here. And then in this cupboard, I believe, yes, okay. You basically just push a button and the bed lowers down over the seating area. It's so cool. So it's just gonna rest on the car seats, like that. It's done. How cool is that? That is such an incredible use of space. Because then you get the seats for everyone, you get the table, and then just when you need it. And in bed, we've got these lovely little backrests to find us. Now I've got to test out and see if these seat belts can take my weight. <laughs> I have eaten a lot of curry. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This is brilliant! And look at that. It's just a floating bed. I am well chuffed with this. This is easily the best camper van I've ever been in my life. I love it so And I've much. been in a lot of camper vans. <laughs> Can we have it? Yeah. Let's just not take it back. Let's keep it. <laughs> Well, I had to put it on the internet every week <laughs> just to rub it in his face. <laughs> now I need to get into my PJs. <laughs> Everything was going too well. And the hardest thing about van life with a baby is getting them to sleep. Well, I was going to say, is the baby. <laughs> is the... the hardest bit of life is getting him to sleep. <laughs> so we have this been no trying solution. for the last hour and it's just been screams for the last hour. So he's one, he gets out of bed and I'm going to try and tucker him out a bit more <laughs> and then we'll try again. Good morning. You let us sleep until 9.30. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Jones. One copy for a baby. <laughs> so Alex and I haven't actually discussed how we slept last night. I slept pretty well, I have to say. I was very, very pleasantly surprised because typically in a new place, any, <laughs> in any new place I sleep in, I don't sleep that well the first night. But I actually slept really well last night. For the best sleep in a camper van post baby. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, post baby for sure. Pre baby, every sleep was better. Yeah. We did pretty well considering, didn't we? So our plan for the day is to have a slow morning and just enjoy having space to enjoy in the van. And then we're gonna head off into the city center and meet up with some friends. I think one of my favorite features of this van is that you have the backrests to lay in bed and drink coffee in the morning. It's so comfy. <laughs> oh. Breakfast in bed, coffee in bed. <laughs> yeah, fasting in bed. Yeah. Maybe I'm being completely naive, but I had no idea you could stay in a campsite in London. As in like a walk to the tube station London, not like way in the outskirts where it takes like three hours to actually get into the centre, but actually inside of London. I hope you don't mind me filming you, Paddy. We have decided to come for a little excursion to the British Museum, which we've never visited before, to check out all the stuff that we've stolen over the years. I love that the British Museum is like Egyptian artifacts, Indian artifacts, Greek artifacts. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have just done a lot of pillaging. <laughs> and the other thing. Every time I see the Egyptian stuff though, I get so excited. There was a video game I used to play where you had to match hieroglyphs. It's kind of like a science-y, computer-based video game. No, I played FIFA. Oh, well. Anyway, I've never done Egypt, and I feel like that's something that as a channel, as a travel channel, it's kind of shocking that we've never been to Egypt before. We don't need to. It's all here. It's all here. Okay, we joke about that we have stole all this stuff, but the preservation is absurd. Like, I can't believe this Egyptian stuff is it's still here in such good condition. <laughs> <laughs> it has dropped below zero now. It's absolutely freezing. So cold. <laughs> and I'm not sure if we've made a rookie error. And we might not have left the heating on. I can't remember. I know. I'm praying. So it's going to be so cold if it is. I really, really hope we've left it on. <sighs> And also, when we woke up this morning, there was a warning light on the heating. So I'm hoping that's just fixed itself <laughs> and that we're not gonna have heating issues because it's gonna be below freezing tonight. We are the kings of turning a blind eye at stuff. And uh, I think we'll go this way. Okay. And if it's not working, like it's kind of late now, <laughs> so we can't get hold of the owner probably at this time. We have to go to a hotel. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not spending this much money on a campsite <laughs> and a camper van. <laughs> we but, will freeze but, in peace. But it's so cold, like we can't stay in the van. Like, do you remember Ireland? And that wasn't this cold. We'll have to freeze in silence. Oh God. Okay, obviously not with Fingers Noah. Crossed. Moment of truth. And it's cold. Oh no. This is our situation. I've got to figure out how to fix this. Side, my hey! You fixed it. Well, actually, it was just the instruction manual that fixed oh. it. <laughs> now that the heating is fixed, it's time for New Year, New Me! <laughs> like I always say. <laughs> and we are going to be making a nice, healthy, vegetable laxa curry. And that'll be my job while Emma entertain entertains the sprog. Hello. <laughs> yes. Ah. You're a happy boy. Ah. <laughs> what do you think of Noah's little bobsleigh hat? I think it's adorable. It's like a little Swedish baby. 
slight change of plans. It's like I always say, judge me on my intentions, not on my actions. <laughs> so <laughs> I was going to be making <laughs> veggie laxa soup. Instead, Noah is having a meltdown and he needs to go to bed ASAP. And that is one thing that's not so great about having your kitchen and your baby's bedroom <laughs> right next to each other. <laughs> so instead, it is traditional British sandwiches <laughs> for the beans and maybe splash out with a pack of pom bears. Oh, also, by the way, is there a better crisp than this? Let me know. I don't think so. We'll see you when you're all mouldy in a few days. <laughs> Hi. She lives in the trees. You should have said. Thank you. Your mummy's hiding above your head. <laughs> No wonder last night was so quiet. There was an Arctic blast that has come across the UK. I don't exactly know what that means, but it sounds extremely it cold. Sounds cold. And it was cold. <laughs> yeah. It, today it is minus five. And basically we've decided all plans are out the window because it's just too cold. Yeah. Instead, we're having tropical vibes inside the van. <laughs> I promise he's very warm. <laughs> yeah, the heating in, in here has been blasting full power all night. So the first night we had it on like setting number two. Last night it was setting number ten. So today is going to be a van day. We don't usually get to do this very often because our vans are usually quite small and there's not enough space for us. It's a so novelty. <laughs> this is very much a novelty and we're just loving it. Every time I go outside and come back in, it's just the coziest feeling and just makes you so happy. So today we're actually gonna go and eat through the food that we have bought. It's already like two days overdue. So if we don't eat it today, then we don't eat it at all. <laughs> My presentation skills are definitely lacking. <laughs> so this is lunch. Maybe one for you, one for you. You having a nice day in the van? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're having a great day in the van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've survived getting back into winter van life so far, but there is a massive storm that's about to hit, so stay tuned to see how that all goes. But we absolutely love this van. It is absolutely perfect for us. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments, is there anything that you would change or add? And if you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans, beans out. out.